Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old-school RuneScape video. Whatever type of player you are, either new or old, we all know that RuneScape is pretty much a grinding simulator because our brains just love seeing numbers go up. And even if pretty much all aspects of the game are very polarizing, at least we can all agree on one thing. We all love to gain experience with the least amount of effort possible. So today I am going to show you guys exactly that. How to train every skill with the minimum amount of attention towards the game so you can do other things while you grind. In terms of my usual disclaimers, I only have three for you guys this time around, and hopefully they will help us avoid inevitable comments like, Nah, what a garbage video, this method is not AFK and the experience is trash. So, here we go. Number one, I fully understand that some, if not every single method mentioned in this video is not fully 100% AFK, and that some degree of attention is needed in order to train as efficiently as possible with the least amount of attention needed. Now, there are things such as the Blast Furnace Pump for strength experience, or even splashing for magic experience, but these are not that great considering that you can get even more experience per hour with just even a few clicks every couple of minutes. For number two, some of these methods do not provide amazing experience per hour, as we are basically trading efficiency for AFK conveniency. And not only that, but some of these methods provide barely any experience, as it is only a side effect from training another skill. But this is basically what we are signing up for if we want to AFK train every single skill. And finally, for number three, I will include experience per hour for all of these methods, but remember that they can fluctuate a whole ton because we are focusing on AFK, and even if I give you guys a worst case scenario experience per hour, some people could get more, and some people could get even less depending on the amount of attention they are paying. So with that, grab your pen and paper, as we learn how to train every skill in Old School RuneScape with the minimum amount of attention and clicks possible. So, first of all, just like my how to make money with every single skill, I will cover the skills in order as you will see them in the skills tab, and of course we are going to start with combat, more specifically melee. Now, when I say melee and AFK training, your mind will most likely go directly to one of two options, either Nightmare Zone or Sand Crabs or either Ammonite Crabs, depending on your level. If you are doing Nightmare Zone, you only need to click the screen to drink overloads, absorption potions, and or some prayer potions. And if you are doing things like sand or ammonite crabs, you only need to click every 4 or 5 minutes to avoid automatically logging out, or every 10 minutes in order to reset aggro on the crabs. However, this next method is suggested by Rootboy Edge on our Discord server, which you can join by checking out the link in the description below. Make sure to join, as we will be doing a lot of group activities in the upcoming weeks. Anyway, after completion of the quest since of the father, you have access to Virewatch Sentinels, which is an amazing AFK training method, since there's an altar right around the corner, and you will only have to click to grab your good drops, recharge your prayer, and of course grab the blood shard if you land the jackpot whenever you kill these enemies. Technically, we can do all of these methods with ranged by using either a short bow, a crossbow, or even a blowpipe when you get level 75. But a much better option would be to take your cannon to your slayer trips, or even some AFK multi-combat zones to grab some juicy ranged experience by literally just waiting for the cannon to land some nice hits. When it comes to magic, we can do the exact same thing with either combat spells or by using the trident, but honestly it's way more expensive and we have better options at our disposal. Now, if I say the words magic and AFK, you probably think of splashing, and that's also true, but again, this method is pretty expensive, so I would only recommend it if you have a ton of cash to spare for either your main or your alt account. You can do a combination of these methods in order to get to level 80 magic, and after completion of the Lunar Diplomacy quest, you have access to the String Jewelry spell, and with just one click, you can string a whole inventory of amulets for a ton of AFK experience. Then, after completion of Dream Mentor, and at level 86 magic, you can use the plank make spell for slightly more experience per hour and even a little bit of profit with mahogany planks. A recent update made it so you can process all a full inventory of planks in just one click, however it will be slightly slower than doing it manually. Of course, as you will notice, I didn't include the iconic high alchemy spell because even though it can be done paying minimum attention, these other two methods are just much much better. So as a very personal suggestion, you could potentially do this from level 55 all the way to 80 on your way to the lunar spells. Also related to combat, we have prayer, and as most of you know, the best AFK method is offering bones at a gilded Alter. Head to World 330 and go to an open house to offer your bones, exit to unnote them with the NPC just outside of the house, and rinse and repeat. 
Just keep in mind that the experience per hour will depend on the type of bone you use. Needless to say, there are more methods to train prayer, like using the Chaos Altar in the Wilderness, reanimating in Soul Heads, or even the new Archaeus spells called Demonic Offering and Sinister Offering, but here are what I would call problems. The Chaos Altar is not that AFK because you need to pay constant attention to PKers, and Soul Heads required constant clicking, and honestly the new spells are a little bit more niche and useful for people who don't have access to a Gilded Altar, so if you personally ask me, this main method is still king in terms of AFK and GP per XP. So grab your bones and head to your nearest gilded altar. And it is time for my favorite skill. When it comes to runecrafting, we only have two options, as the core method of training this skill is fairly click intensive. Option 1 is using the ZMI altar, which if you didn't know, you have access to starting at level 1, but I would personally recommend doing this at level 50 to use 3 rune pouches and also have access to the lunar spellbook. Just to head outside the dungeon, grab your essence, and follow people to the altar when you are on the official ZMI world. At level 77, you have the best AFK method available in the form of Zaya runecrafting. You can do bloods from level 77 to 90, or even 99 for more cash, and then you can also do soul runes at level 90 for slightly more experience per hour. Construction is probably the least AFK skill in the entire game because of how click intensive it can be. So honestly the only option I have for you today is actually doing Winter Toad and fixing braziers when they break. Um, keep in mind however that you will most likely go beyond 200 million fire making experience if you actually want to get level 99 construction strictly by doing this method. So personally, I wouldn't recommend it, but this is actually one way to train construction as a side thing when training fire making. Similar to construction, we have agility. And why is it similar? Well, it's because if you want to train efficiently, there's barely any downtime as you have to constantly click on agility courses to get decent experience per hour. So again, we only have one method to showcase and it's actually by gaining agility experience when you are barbarian fishing. Now, much like training construction at Winter Toad, the experience disparity will actually be pretty massive. As a small example, you can get approximately level 70 agility by getting level 99 fishing through this method alone. So, if you want to train agility with barely any clicks, prepare hundreds if not thousands of hours worth of YouTube or Netflix content to get level 99 agility with barely any effort. For Herblore, we have three great methods. One focused on profit but not as much experience, another one focused on saving money, and another one for more experience at a slightly higher cost. Up first, you can buy whatever type of herb you want and clean a full inventory of them and this is especially AFK because a recent update made it so you can automatically clean all of them, but naturally it's going to be way slower than doing it manually. The second one is by combining certain herbs with Swamp Tar to create a new item. This is great because you can do 26 per inventory and it's actually not as expensive as some of the higher tier potions. And finally, you can create potions such as Super Energy or Anti Venom, for which the secondary ingredients are stackable, so you can create even more potions per inventory and pay even less attention. As always, just remember that herb lore will always be fairly expensive if you are looking for a good experience per hour. Up next, we have the YouTube skill, and by clicking the like button, you will reach level 99 and you will unlock the ability to watch videos without ads. And if you don't click it, Mudjet will steal your account. <laughs> anyway, thieving is a weird one because, as you probably know, this is another pretty click intensive skill, so instead of focusing on AFK, I will focus on the least amount of attention when training, as honestly there's no viable way to 100% AFK this skill. Now, one good option would be to steal from stalls or pickpocket master farmers at lower levels and just drop whatever items you wish to discard. As a second option, you can pickpocket RD knights, since there is a great method for you to steal from them and open the coin pouches by placing your screen and mouse at specific locations for you not to move your mouse whatsoever. Opposite to thieving, when it comes to AFK, we have crafting. And this is a super chill and easy skill, however, it can be either super slow and profitable or relatively quick and expensive. So here's why. You can get a bit of profit by crafting gold bracelets and this is super AFK because you can craft a batch of 27 bracelets per inventory. Now even if the level required is fairly slow, experience per hour is really not that bad even at higher levels. And speaking of higher levels, you can also craft glass items from molten glass for a great experience per hour that also isn't super expensive. If you are looking to blow more money for more experience per hour, you can also craft the gems but honestly this gets way too expensive for my liking, even with the low tier gems. When we talk about AFK skills, few of them are as easy as fletching. 
and all you need to do to level up by paying barely any attention is to fletch logs into any unstrong bows. I would recommend focusing on longbows for you not to lose as much money, and of course you will get even more experience per log. If you want a bit more profit you could also string the bows, but you can only do 14 per inventory as opposed to 27 logs if you are just fletching them into unstrong bows. If you want to AFK Drain Slayer you will need good RNG with your tasks, as not every single one can be done paying little attention. Some of the best AFK tasks would be Dagonauts, Kurasks, Dust Devils, Smoke Devils, Ever Inspectors, and sometimes even the Kraken. But this will entirely depend on where you have to slay each type of creature. If you have more suggestions for AFK Slayer tasks, make sure to leave them in a comment below. If you ask me, Hunter is one of the most intensive skills to train because you have to set up so many traps almost non-stop. But there are actually two great methods that require barely any clicks to get pretty decent experience per hour. First, I would recommend doing birdhouse runs every hour, which literally takes one minute and will also give you a nice chunk of GP per run. When you get level 60 and after completion of Monkey Madness 2, you also have access to Maniacal Monkeys which give 1000 experience per catch, and since they take slightly longer to take the bait, you will have more downtime to set up your next trap. Now keep in mind that this is not amazing experience per hour, but it won't destroy your wrists as opposed to training with other methods like Chinchompas. For mining, by far the best option would be the Mother Load Mine. We have other great methods such as power mining iron ore, mining granite, the volcanic mine, the blast mine, and much more, but this is strictly for AFK purposes and it doesn't get any better than the mother load mine, especially after reaching level 72 and paying 100 golden nuggets to get to the second level of the mine. Even at level 99 you won't be getting close to any of the previous methods in terms of experience per hour, but this method is so chill that you won't want to leave unless you are rushing for a specific level for either a quest or a diary. One of the most recent traditional smithing training methods would be the Blast Furnace, but let's be honest, that still takes a lot of clicks per minute. If you want something even more relaxing you could smith cannonballs or even a select number of metal items that are created from a single metal bar. Things such as mithril or adamant darts or even a few knives will give you a lot of downtime as you create to 27 items per inventory and you will only have to click every few minutes. Just to keep in mind that experience and profit per hour is not great and with a fluctuating market you will make barely any profit or even lose some money. Up next we have fishing and if you don't care about money, this entire skill can be done AFK as you will only have to click when the fishing spots move and when your inventory fills up for you to drop all of your fish. The best way to do this would be going from levels 20 to 58 by catching tuna or salmon and then barbarian fishing from levels 58 all the way to 99. If you want just a bit more profit or if you're an Iron Man looking for food, you can fish monkfish, sharks or even anglerfish, which all take a relatively long time to fish for a full inventory. Cooking is also one of the best AFK skills in the game, as you only have to fill up your inventory with raw food and then cook it at a fire or a range near a bank. I would recommend the Rogue's Den, the Hosidious Kitchen or even Catherby if you haven't unlocked the Myths Guild and cooking will most likely give you a bit of profit regardless of what type of fish you cook. Once you get to the mid game you can cook higher level food like bass, or swordfish and so on. My only suggestion would be to complete the quest Family Crest for those cooking gauntlets to burn less food per inventory. When it comes to fire making, the best AFK option is honestly the Winter Toad. Even if you still have to do a relatively high number of actions per minute, it's way way better than burning individual pieces of wood with a tinderbox and of course without Winter Toad we won't be getting our nice bit of construction experience that we already talked about. So this will be our best option for quite a long time or until we have more AFK options to train like bonfires in RuneScape 3 but <laughs> let's be honest that will never happen because it would have to get through the poles and we all know how players are regarding those things. Opposite to fire making we have wood cutting and this time around we can chop any type of tree after regular ones in order to get AFK experience. Obviously the higher the type of tree the longer you will have to wait to chop logs and then deplete the tree. In my personal opinion, the most AFK option would be redwood logs at level 90, which also provide the best chance per 
action at getting the pet, but if you are looking for a little more experience with slightly more actions per minute, you can cut Teak Trees and Prifinus to also get a ton of crystal shards. In terms of low and mid levels, Willows are also a great option and you can either drop them or bank them for later use. And finally, we have the king of AFK training, the farming skill. As we all know, the core of this skill is pretty much waiting for crops to grow, and you can do this in two ways. Making a ton of money through farming things like herbs, flowers, fruit, or even vegetables, or by planting trees all around RuneScape which you will have to check typically every 24 hours. 99 farming can take upwards of 2, 3, or even 4 months, but the amount of time you have to dedicate to it each day is nothing compared to every other skill in the game. So whatever you decide to plant will contribute to you getting an obscene amount of experience per day with barely any attention to it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to AFK every single skill in old school RuneScape. And of course, these are just some great methods to follow if you want to level up with the least amount of attention possible. If I forgot any AFK training method, make sure to leave a comment below. And if you made it this far, leave a comment with the term AFK along with your favorite way to gain experience by paying barely any attention to the game and you will be entered in a bond giveaway for which the winner will be announced on Friday. A massive shout out to all my channel members, especially to the absolute legends who are Josh B and Iron Rise for being part of the Infernal tier and of course our newest member Mr. Moldybot who subscribed to the Nazi tier. If you guys would like to see what kinds of benefits you will receive in exchange for your monetary support to the channel, click on the join button below and take a look at everything I have to offer to help you in either your runescape or your video making journey. I'm sure you'll find something useful and attractive to you. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video which is all about pet hunting. I hope you have an amazing week and good luck in the game. Ba -ba -ba Peace!